so uh, you can see here on examination of this uh, middle age uh, patient's back we can see a obvious swelling oh. on the right side of the patient right and there is a surgical scar on the left side of the patient at the same region right. so uh, on uh, when i'm explaining about the lump which is uh, roughly hemispherical in shape which is about uh, 8 by 8 centimeters in size and no other overland skin changes and comparing to the other side no warm up changes are there right uh, what are kahin nabara? kahin? you can see kahin kaasara? obvious expansile cough impulse in the lung obvious expansile cough impulse is there that is visible and kaasara kahin and it is palpable also. So the palpable and visible expansile cough impulse is there. Right. So now on calculating the lump it is not tender. So the regular margin and smooth surface and I'm trying to reduce it. Without any discomfort it's very easily reduced. And on reduction I can palpate a defect in the posterior abdominal wall actually in the posterior abdominal wall I can palpate a defect there now I'm going to apply pressure on it and ask the patient to cough then Kahin <coughs> now the lump is not appearing so I'm obliterating the defect in the posterior abdominal wall so then Kahin <coughs> you can see the lump is nicely appearing so which is however it is a viscous which is coming through the posterior abdominal wall the defect in the posterior abdominal wall so this is a typical example of a hernia so what type of a hernia is so in the posterior triangle in between in between the so there is a lumbar triangle is there lumbar triangle is there so it is coming through the lumbar triangle or the inferior lumbar triangle so it is a uh, bit of a rare case yes, it is a uh, lumbar hernia right okay so to complete the examination we must do we must see the other hernial orifices as well and do the abdominal examination for completion of the test <laughs>